Benny Bomber, good to see you get some rounds out. Good to see you fight live, mate. You wanted a fight. It happened. He showed up and he was there. Yeah, credit to him, man. you you got to give credit to anyone that steps in there at the end of the day. Honestly, like, there's no, no such thing as a weak opponent. Like, anyone that steps in that ring, major respect to him. And, yeah, he pushed me four rounds, so it was the longest I've been in my professional career, so it was good. How good did that feel, just to be, you know, continually out there? Yeah, it was good, man. you, you got to learn and adapt to different circumstances, you know what I mean? To, to be in there, box, look and pick the shots. Not just go for the kill, you know what I mean? It's good. You've got, you got to learn everything when you're in there, 100%. Mate, that was very evident in the way that he turtled up in the first couple of rounds. He definitely made you, you know, use your feints and your footwork a little bit more and pick your shots. That was good. Yeah, no, I knew I, knew I was hurting him early on, but um, like I said, you can't go for the big shots right away, you know what I mean? You've got to pick, take your time. That's what, that's what all the good professionals do, so that's all, that's all we're at. Mate, obviously you're going to go back to the gym, but what's next for you? Who do you want? Any super welterweight, honestly. There's a couple of big names in there. You know, we, well, we called out Nikita Zoo last time. They said that they couldn't get an opponent. They said a couple of shitty excuses why I wouldn't take the fight. So, um, you know, he's got a fight coming up. It's, it's a tough fight for him, honestly. Mason Smith, I've seen him, seen him box. He's a good kid. Um, if he gets over him, oh, we want him next, for sure, 100%.